Hello. Hi, guys. Hello, hello, everyone. All right. Today we are talking about how to read grocery ads. I'm trying to calm myself down. <laughs> Ten minutes ago, I about changed the show. You're going to hear a little rant after we're done. <laughs> You're going to hear a big rant after we're done. Tara's on a rampage. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Welcome. Today we are talking about how to read grocery ads. Um, there's Michael in the background. Say hello, dear. Hello. Now we don't have that much snow now. <laughs> All right. We um we are talking about how to read grocery ads because I realized doing these grocery budget audits that we've been talking about that a lot of people aren't understanding how to read. The grocery ads. Now, my smart aleck mother said, we'll just put on your glasses and read it. <laughs> no, Mike said, 10 secrets to reading grocery ads. And I said, would you give me a hint of what some of them are first before we I'm start? Like, and then I said, oh, put on our glasses, first of all. <laughs> so it's a little bit more than just putting on your glasses to read it. But here's the thing. What I realized is people are not understanding the difference between buy one, get one free 50% off, 10% off, price, price with a coupon, this price only with the coupon, and buy two, get three free. And after I forgot, I left my receipt in the, this is going to actually be a whole other video, but, oh, thank you, dear. Um, but I realized that um, when I went to the grocery store for my, for stocking up for Thanksgiving, um, the groceries, actually, I'm going to go talk to my, my Senator and my representative when they get back in January, they're going to hear a word from me. This has, this cannot possibly be legal. Well, it's probably legal, but it shouldn't be legal. And I was looking at the receipt and you can't even tell the price that you're paying for anything yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. So like, let's say you got three Pepsis on sale for four dollars each 3.99 each or something and the receipt will say pepsi three 7.99 times three is what eight times three 24 dollars 23.97 says mike <laughs> You better be careful, Mike. She's already I'm gonna say. she's already got steam coming out of her ears before we start. This. You're going to end up being my rant. <laughs> you don't watch it. <laughs> we got to be nice to Tara tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Keep my eye on the money. You better believe I'm keeping my eye on the money. That's why I'm so mad. Thank you. Uh, and. So then at the bottom, it takes off like three dollars off each one. So then it says. Pepsi coupon, negative $12, where nowhere on that receipt does it actually say you paid $3.99 for a 12-pack of Pepsi. Yeah. It's totally, it's, it, they, I can't even believe this is legal. So we're going to go through today and, I don't know, tell me guys, type one if your um, grocery stores are doing this. Type two if you're not seeing that happening because I'm curious, am I the only one who's noticing you can't tell what the price is anymore? No, it's it's been that way for a couple of years at least, three or four years now. Oh, man. Well, of course, I don't know if it's on your list or not, but one thing. I that, don't have a list. I'm doing this on the fly. We're doing it on the fly. So I don't know if I'm jumping in the wrong spot. Yeah, see, everybody's but, having the same problem. Yeah. It's not just me. Now, this won't work for everybody because if you're like Tara, she buys a lot of groceries, you know, because of the business cooking and stuff like that. And she's got a bigger family. What I do is I buy a small amount of stuff on sale that I calculate up a little bit a general idea no that's what i do even with my big orders and so i have a general idea that when i check out if they if i come up with the idea that's going to be 19 dollars and they say it's 35 dollars, mm -hmm. i know immediately something's wrong yeah so you have to have a little bit of a, a general ballpark <coughs> figure in your mind before you check well that's out. what happened to me the other day when i went to um when i went to family dollar should be ashamed of yourself Man, tonight could be a very long show. <laughs> but when I told you guys I went in there 
And they did have soda on sale for three, four, 11. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go get the three, four, 11. So I pick up three Dr. Peppers, two, no, I pick up five Dr. Peppers and a Sprite. And I get up there and she's, cause you had to buy three for 11. And she said, oh, well, the Sprite isn't included with the Dr. Pepper. I said, it's the same company that makes it. She said, it doesn't matter. It's not the same thing. Okay. So then I go get another Dr. Pepper and two more Sprite because it was a fairly good deal for now. And um, then I was just going to be stocked up for the holidays and New Year's and everything. So um, I get up there or I get back there to go do it. And the sign says three for 11, right underneath the Sprite. Mm -hmm. It was right there. So another lady, so another one of the workers, she was coming up, I said, and she'd heard the whole conversation. I said, look, I said, right here, it says three for 11, just so you don't think I'm losing my mind. She said, well, that's not supposed to be there and ripped it off and walked away. Like it was my fault. Mm -hmm. Now, where was I going with that? I'm on my rant so much that my brain is fried. Oh, that you're gonna go to the senator. Yeah, but there was something else about that. Well, so anyway, so um, so I go to get my soda. Oh, that's what it was. Adding up in your mind how much it was. Mm -hmm. So I had six sodas. It should have been about $22, right? 11 plus 11 is 22. This is not hard math. <laughs> well, it is for some. And I'll just tell you, family dollar is the cream of the crop here. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> You work at Family Dollar. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I ne I never thought anything could get lower than Walmart, and I have determined Family Dollar is lower than Walmart now. <laughs> Not for prices either. <laughs> Not for prices either. And so I got up there, and it rang up, tw or it was supposed to be twenty two dollars. So I thought twenty three, twenty four dollars with tax. Okay, it was thirty seven dollars. And I said, that's not the right price. And she looked at me and she said, well, what do you mean it's not the right price? I said, well, 11 plus 11 is 22. I got two sets of three for $11 and it's $37. She's like, huh? <laughs> it's supposed to be $22. I'm not paying $37 for $22 worth of product. It is. The ad is right here, sitting on your cash register. Oh, so they intentionally, not necessarily the cashier, but Family Dollar is intentionally setting the prices wrong. Mm -hmm. Hoping people, hoping won't people it. won't notice. Yeah, pay attention. So, like you were saying earlier, this was my whole point to this: was when I did have my big grocery bill. I thought, man, that seems higher than it was last year. And I know prices have gone up, but it was about 20% more than it was last year. And I was like, well, okay. I thought, no, I'm going to go re-add that. So what I did, and I just estimate, guys. I don't yeah, sit there and go, $1.39 no. plus $1.39 plus 69 cents. I do all the dollars. So for those of you who don't know how to estimate, this is the easy way to estimate. <laughs> Start on the dollar side, add up all the dollars, okay? Then go to the cent side, and then I go by dollars. So if it's 29 cents and then 79 cents, I just call that a dollar. Then if it's 39 cents and 22 cents, I call that 50 cents. And then I just find another 50 cents and I just go and add it. That's how to easily and quickly estimate while you're standing at the grocery store to see how much everything will cost. And so I just quickly went through, and even though I had, a, I mean, I probably had what, 60, 70 things maybe? It, it took me one, not even 30 seconds a minute to add all that up, wow. and it was correct. It's just that inflation, groceries have gone up about 20%. Well, I think the whole point is to be a little more on guard and watch what you're paying yeah. for this stuff, what the ads say it's supposed to be and what you're paying. You just have to, you can't be talking on the phone or dinking with this uh -uh. or that. You need to 
take it a little bit more serious. This is like a business. Treat your grocery shopping like you would a business and pay attention at that moment what you're doing and watch it. And I ask the cashier, I usually say, will you please watch and with me and help make sure that I get all the sales, you know, coupons and stuff that I that yeah. I signed up for. And they do. They really will take time if you ask them to, to watch it for you. And they check it at Albertsons. They always double check it for me. And so I don't usually have problems. Everybody's asking family dollar, not Dollar Tree. Of course, I don't know if Dollar Tree is much no, better. No, no, but family, family dollar, dollar, dollar is tree. who I'm talking about. It's family dollar. Mm -hmm. And somebody said they just settled a huge, I missed the millions. Oh, yeah. one point. Uh, Jeanette says $1.2 million settlement in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never... I've gone to Family Dollar, Dollar only about two or three times. I don't like them as well as Dollar Tree. All right. So before I get to my <laughs> ads and then to my rant, <laughs> guys, I haven't even gotten to the rant yet. Can you imagine what it's going to be like? You might want to call some of your neighbors in and the rest of the family and to get prepared for Tar's Let me rant. tell you, if you're drinking something, you maybe shouldn't be drinking it today. <laughs> or maybe you need some harder than just your cup of tea. I certainly need it. <laughs> our Black Friday sale, guys, up to 50% off, 40% off our print books, <laughs> Dining on a Dime Volume 1 and Volume 2. And we tell you the actual price. <laughs> volume 1 and Volume 2 go together. I just couldn't fit all the recipes from here into here. This is 600 pages of easy recipes to get you in and out of the kitchen quickly. This is 800 recipes and tips. Our gluten-free, dairy-free edition, guys. And then our price book is what we're going to be talking about tonight. 40% off. We're almost out of these, but we have more on the way. And then our daily planner, guys. Undated, 400 pages, 365 days. You can flip through all of these on the sales page so you can see every single page so you know exactly what you are buying. All right, let me get my screen up here and we're going to talk about ads because this is just really getting to be ridiculous. Okay, Ridley's. So this is the local family grocery store that I um, use here. And I didn't know if you wanted to be on there, Mike. You got on there? You on there? <laughs> 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 his head's on there anyway. <laughs> um, and this is my local, this is the one that I keep telling you about. And this is the one where I just went through the ad and I couldn't figure out how much I was, I was paying. What are you doing back there? Oh, oh now we got just you. <laughs> Put me on the side again so they can see the ad. <laughs> wow. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, get it together, guys. Get it together. Okay. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm not the one doing it. Okay. Are we on here? Okay. We're on here. <laughs> all right. So look at this at. Now, first of all, these digital coupons are about to do me in. Yeah. I, I, I have just about had it. I kid you not. Every single time I go to Albertsons, well, and Ridley's too. Well, I was going to say, they I, don't I work. stopped going to Ridley's because they wouldn't even help me get that their app thing put on my phone. So I can't get it put on there. So I can't go there because I can't get the digital coupons now. So. I am just had it. But OK, so let's go through this. All right. So first of all, this is like a lot of junk stuff, really. Well, not a lot, I guess. There's only a couple things that are true, true junk on here. I mean, we don't need the dog food and we don't need the toaster pastries. So first of all, for the ads, for stuff like that, I just jump over those because I don't ever buy toaster pastries mm -hmm. anymore. Now, if I did, $1.19 is a decent price for um, Pop-Tarts po toaster pastries. Now, how do I know that? Because for things like that, I write it down in my price book because those things I only buy once in a while as a treat for holidays. We'll just put it that way. They just show up in places on certain holidays. <laughs> so they're, they're a treat, a twice a year thing, okay? So um, that's where I would fill in here and just put the extra price so that I can remember. 
But for normal foods like oatmeal and some of the like oatmeal and Jeez. canned biscuits, those are some good ones. I'll, I have those pre-filled out here for you. So then you can just add yours and here's my number. But some of them like cheese and milk, sour cream, chicken, I just have those memorized. memorized. Yeah. From buying them so much. Because you don't buy Pop-Tarts all the time. I don't. You you learn your basic stuff, main things, eggs and stuff like so that. So I know that when I find chicken for $1.47 a pound, that's a really stinking good deal. I know when milk is 99 cents a half gallon or $1.99 a gallon, that's my stock up price. I know when tuna is 69 cents, that's my stock up price. Now you're like, Tara, how can you memorize all that? It's really only like 10 or 12 things. Yeah. And you'd be surprised. It's if not you that look, much. If you start watching the price, I think what happens is people don't watch the prices that carefully. So they think it's hard to memorize. Yeah. But if you start looking at the prices carefully after like a couple of two or three times of buying it, you're going to have it in, stuck in your head. You're yeah. going to know. So what are the things that I have memorized? I have... Brown sugar and powdered sugar. I don't know why I have that one memorized, I but know, I do. That's a weird one. But um, let's see. What I, do I have? I've got, I gram, have I've got my graham crackers. Cereal, I've got bread. Cereal, eggs, cheese, butter, the sour cream type things, milk, uh, vegetables and fruits. Those I just have a straight aboard. Now it's $1.25, but it used to be a dollar a pound. What do I have on there now? You can still get it for a dollar a pound. Yeah. 99 cents a pound is what I have for my super stock up price. Bacon. That's uh $2.99 a pound is how much I pay. And then my roasts and my chicken and potatoes. So that's 11. And then what else do I normally, I know all of my condiments like ketchup, jelly, mayonnaise are a dollar. So that's 12 chips, $2 a bag. That's 13. Oh, I lied. I'm a liar. I said it was only 10 or 11 and I'm a liar. You got 13 already and you're still working on the list. So 13, <laughs> there's 13 things that I buy on a regular basis that I always know the rest of them like flour and sugar. I just put in my price book. Then when I do my, twice yearly stock up at Easter and Thanksgiving or Christmas, mm -hmm. then I know if that's the best price. But it, it, like I said, it's, you have to start look, paying attention, treat it like a business, pay attention. Once you pay attention to the prices of what they are when they're on sale, you'll start, get, it'll just yeah. be automatic with you, yeah. you know? All right. So let's go back through this ad here. Whoops. I showed it and I didn't show it on heat. Oh dear. Oops. There we go. Okay. Next. All right. So we don't buy pre-made orange juice. So what were the things on here that I would know? Okay. Pasta, 89 cents a pound. That's a pretty good deal. Except that I know that when they have their case slot sell at Ridley's, it's 69 cents. So I'm going to wait because I just stocked up on that. Pancake mix. I don't like this kind of pancake mix. So I just ignore it. Another thing too, like if I'm not sure of a price on here, if that's a really good price, I usually go to Walmart first and then I go to Albertsons. So what I do is I double check the price at Walmart to mm -hmm. make sure the sale yeah. price, you know, is, yeah. is cheaper than at Walmart. So than what I can usually get it. So if I have the Walmart, I have the Walmart app on my phone. So if I'm standing at Ridley's and I'm like, Oh, I can't remember if syrup is 99 cents and a good deal or not. And I left my price book at home. Then I just go look at Walmart and I see Walmart right now, it has, let's see, right? Walmart right now has pancake syrup for $2.36. So I know 99 cents for me is a good deal. Is a really good deal. So I'm going to be stocking up on that now. All right, next page. Pork loin. Now, here's where it starts to get tricky. First of all, the first page and the last page of the ads are really the only two I really look at most of the time. 
Those are where your debt best deals are going to be. Those are called loss leaders. They're the ones that get you in the store to buy all the other stuff at full price. Okay. Now I happen to know that $1.99 for pork roast is not a good deal. Why? Because in my town, 99 cents to $1.49 is a good deal for pork. So I'm not going to stock up on this pork, uh, pork roast. The same with ground beef. This is 85% ground beef for $3.99. And just last week when I did my stock up, it was $3.33 a pound for 95% mm -hmm. ground beef. Let's see. Bread. Here is bread for $1.99. Okay, that looks like a good deal. Except that I know for the same size loaf, it's $1.34 at Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. 99 cents is a good deal on sodas. So if I need soda, which I don't now, but if I did need soda, I would go stock up for 99 cents for if we have our parties, we're doing more party. We're just a party house now. <laughs> um, and so if we need some for parties, then I stock up now. If we're going to have a New Year's Eve party at our house, then I'll have the soda. Not and but... The buy two, get two free right next to it is not a good deal. <laughs> so you have to do a little calculating on these, you know, and you have to be careful because like Tara's buying the two liters. Now, I don't buy the two liters very often because if I'm going to drink it, it'll be one can at a time. A two liter would go bad on me you know, that type of thing, unless I was having company over. So maybe the cans would be a better deal because I wouldn't waste as much. And so it might be better for me to buy that than to waste a whole two liter, you know, drinking it. Yeah. Only part of it. All right. Let's so see. So those are some of the things you have to factor in. I'm just mentioning these, you know, to think about different situations. All right. Now here's the next thing. Three day sales. Now here at my particular store, they have three day sales from Friday to Saturday. Now what I've learned is if you're going to have a three-day sale, get your butt there Friday morning as soon as they open <laughs> because they have limited quantities and when they're sold out, they're sold out. That's just to get you in the store again. So if you actually want the sale, so like last year, I don't know if you guys remember when I got my 60 pounds of um, bacon for, was it $1.49 a pound, I think? I can't remember. It was super cheap. I went... Friday morning on their three-day sale, I got up at six o'clock in the morning. They opened up at six. I got there at 6.15 and I was hoping 15 minutes wouldn't be too late. <laughs> and, and I got one of the two boxes they had. Wow. Because And that was all they had. Sometimes they don't put very much of these uh -uh. things out. And mm -hmm. once they put a few out to get people to come into the store and it's all yeah. gone, they're not going to put any, they'll just yeah. say, I don't have any more. So anyway, yeah. So you got to be careful on that. Mm -hmm. So that's the next thing. Get there early if you're planning on getting one of these special things. Now, now we're getting into the inside of the ad. And honestly, I hardly ever look at this page because yeah. I know that mustard two for four dollars is not a good deal. On Labor Day, it was 99 cents. Mayonnaise is not a good deal at $5.99. Just last week, it was $3.99. Mm -hmm. That's a two dollars difference. So I will kind of glance through and look. So like this applesauce here is 23 ounces. Now that might be a good deal for $2.19. Let me see what has Walmart for a price. Um, so, oops, they sell it in the 48 ounce jars. So it would be twice, 312 for 48 ounces. And Ridley's has 24 ounces. So two of these, 219, that is, so it's actually cheaper at Walmart. Mm -hmm. It's actually cheaper at Walmart to get the big one at Walmart. So I go through and I, I glance. But honestly, it's extremely rare, extremely rare for me to um, show that or I mean, for me to um, see anything that is uh, there that is on sale. And that's kind of another thing to watch for, because even though these things show up on sale, take note that maybe closer to Christmas on Fourth of July 
even though these things are on sale right now for next week or something, they're maybe not as good a sale uh -uh. as what it could be after a holiday or right before a holiday, I mean. So you got to keep that little point. I know this sounds kind of complicated, and I don't want you guys to get overwhelmed. If you even start doing one or two of the things that we mentioned and start out slow, then you can keep adding yeah. the tips to your, you know, mm -hmm. your ammunition or whatever yeah. for doing the sales. So don't get overwhelmed with everything we're telling you. Just take it one step at a time or two steps at a time. And then just once you get one, a couple of steps down pat, then start on to the next. Yep. All right, guys, but you want to know what a good tip, what a good price is right <laughs> now. Dining on Dime Cookbooks, guys. Right now, 40% off. We only do this twice a year. Mother's Day and Black Friday, there is only when they're, or we're moving and we're not planning on moving. So 40% off right now for our Black Friday sale. That was volume one and volume two. And this is our gluten-free, dairy-free edition. Also our price books to keep track of your prices, guys. 40% off. And then our undated planners to get you set up for the new year. 400 pages, 365 days to help you get organized. Okay, now let's go through Albertson here this week because mom was like, oh, I am so disappointed in Albertson's this week. <laughs> and I was too, although I didn't need anything because I had stocked up last week. Now, here we go. Chicken leg quarters, thighs, and breasts. Okay, these are $1.47. I can tell you right now at Walmart, it's like 70 cents for yeah, chicken quarters. That's, that's, this is a horrible I deal. don't know what that, I couldn't believe that because... <laughs> Now, $4.27 for lean ground beef. Like I said, last week, I got it at Ridley's for $3.30. So that's not a good deal either. But chuck roasts are $3.97. Yes. So I that is a good deal. But the salmon right next to it, which if you can't be affording groceries, you don't need to be buying salmon anyway. But if all your debts are paid off and your retirement is funded and you want to pay it by salmon, go ahead, or on you're on a special diet, go ahead and buy salmon. But I still know that $7 is what salmon usually goes down to, not eight seven. Especially seven. closer to Christmas. Yeah. Now, I never buy fresh strawberries, blackberries, raspberries out of season. These are all out of season. Yeah, I don't even look at them now. Six ounces for two forty seven dollars is a ridiculous price. I would say in season, I pay, well, for strawberries, that's really expensive. But strawberries were $0.99, cents, although this year they didn't go down they to $0.99. They did go down. Mm -mm. So we may have to raise our price on that one. But here, even the cheese, it says $5.97. But just a couple of weeks ago, for the same two pounds, it was $4.97. So that's not a good deal. Same thing with the sodas, the chips, the crackers. Now, the soups, though, that is a good deal. Mm -hmm. um, they will about once a year go down to $0.97 cents occasionally. Once in a while. But that's pretty rare. Mm -hmm. So then... Um, we go through, now the goldfish crackers, we don't buy those, but that's $6.99 is actually a decent deal. They're almost $8 or $9 at Walmart now. We don't buy them. I just happened to see the other day. Um, let's see, what else we got? All this stuff we don't even mess with. Four for $5 for the barbecue sauce and the ketchup. Like I said, it was a dollar for these same things just on Labor Day. So I stocked up on Labor Day. Come Labor Day, 4th of July, Memorial Day, you need to stock up a year's supply on ketchup and mustard yeah. and those types of things for a year. Yeah. And the, it'll last for more than a year. So yeah. you need to stock up on that stuff then. All right. So now here we come to the clip the coupons fun part. Yeah. See, I don't know what the <sighs> difference between the digital and the I clip know. ones. I don't know. You know. I give up. But they've got like three or four different ways you can yeah. get a sale. So now baby carrots are like $1.25 for a pound. So 99 cents is a good deal. The smoked sausages have gone down to $3.49. So that's an okay deal, not exceptional. But I run through these. I know I can get butter for $2.49. So that's not that great. The pizzas are a fairly good deal, $3.99. Um, so guys, this really boils down to looking at your ads and watching knowing your price what the prices sure. are like here they they make it look like 249 for a pork roast is a good deal well it was a dollar 89 at ridley's or dollar 99 whichever it was and that's not a good deal yeah so but because i know that i'm not going to go waste my money on those 
items when they're not at the rock bottom price. So that's ex that's how you keep your grocery prices low. Now, guys, please put your comments and questions in the um, comment section here. Mike is going to send them to me now. So go ahead and start posting them. Um, for a lot of people are wondering, where do we live? We are in Sheridan, Wyoming. And so we are in no man's land, Wyoming. But in two weeks, we're going to the big city to shop. <laughs> Gillette, Gillette. Gillette. <laughs> big city of 30,000 to shop. <laughs> I think Gillette's, Gillette's actually pretty small. How many, how big they're is not it? A whole, they're not a whole lot bigger than us. <laughs> Uh, uh, let's see. Gillette, a city in Wyoming. Let's see. What's the population? Yeah. 30,000. I was, <laughs> I was, yes. Yeah. It's not very big. It's small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because the big, big city is, 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 uh, Cheyenne and it's only got like, I think a hundred thousand. I haven't been to so, the big, big city shopping for so long. I don't even know if I'd know how to act. Well, you were there in what, May? I didn't. You didn't shop in oh, May? Oh, in May? Yeah. Well, did we shop in May? We took Grandma for her birthday, but I don't remember. I think I we remember. went oh, yeah, to we Hobby went to, Lobby. Yeah, we did. We went to Hobby but Lobby. But I didn't. We only went to Hobby Lobby and what? One, other, yeah. one or two other stores. So Yeah. Cheyenne has 65,000. Yeah, I knew it wasn't very many. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, okay. So. We are going to Gillette, and let me tell you, while Mike's getting the, the comments and questions to you, I got to, let's hope that my, I don't have a stroke. <laughs> I was like, okay, thank you. Mike got me the question. So if you guys have questions, comments, put them in there. I got to tell you what happened today. So remember two weeks ago, we had someone throwing up blood. So we were like, okay. So we went to the GI doc today, and... um. They said, well, we need to get an ultrasound. I think it's the gallbladder. Let's get an ultrasound. Okay. So I called the hospital and I said, we're cash pay. Can you please give me the price of a gallbladder ultrasound? Okay. So, of course, it took her quite a while to look it up. And she had to call me back and all this. And I'm like, you can't just see it says gallbladder ultrasound. <laughs> so, um, so she calls me back and she says, it's going to be $1,200. I'm like, what? When Jack was a baby, it was like $200 for the ultrasound. And that was a process. We're talking the gallbladder. This is like a five, 10 minute ultrasound. Because I've had it. So I'm like, I, no, I want the cash price. Because she said, well, it's $1,200 after the insurance. I said, I don't have insurance. I want the cash price. She said, no, it's it's $1,200. So I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So I called around. No, we don't do ultrasounds. I'm like, there's got to be someplace that does ultrasounds. So um, I posted on this community group we have on Facebook for our city. And I said, the hospital here wants $1,200 for gallbladder ultrasound. I said, is there someplace else, even if we have to drive, it's two hours to Gillette, Casper or Billings. I said, even if we have to drive, there's got to be cheaper than $1,200. So all these people put on here, oh yeah, you should try here, should try here, try here. Okay. So I called Gillette two hours away, hour and a half away, hour and a half away, 90 miles. And if you don't hit a deer on the way, then yeah. it could be a lot more expensive. <laughs> but um, then um, <coughs> I call and I was like, yeah, I need to go bladder. She's like, okay. She said, I said, I'm cash. So, okay. She said, well, for cash, it was, what did I say? 330? 25 or something. No, 330. She said, it, no, it's 350. It was 350. 350. She said, it's 350 for a gallbladder ultrasound. But if you pay the day you're there, it's 220 cash, cash. If you pay the day you're there cash, it's $220, $1,000. Difference. $1,000. Do you know how much $1,000 is? <laughs> Can I tell her what Jack said? <laughs> so Mike was out here setting up for the show. Mom wasn't here yet. So poor Jack 
for 20, because Dave's not here. He, he's at work. He's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack had to listen to me for 25 <laughs> minutes. A thousand dollars. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. A three hour drive round trip, about $30 worth, not even $30 worth. Well, maybe $30 worth of gas. Maybe. And I will save a thousand dollars. I'm gonna tell him what Jack said. <laughs> I am livid. Sheridan Hospital, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's it's oh so mom walks in. <laughs> These are the people who are gonna take care of me when I have a stroke. So I need to be nice. <laughs> But this is just wrong. So mom walks in and I start going. And poor Jack, he's just like, so then. So Jack looked at me, or he's looked at me. He said, yeah, she's going to save $1,000, but she's going to need to use that $1,000 for me to go to therapy after listening to her rant and rave for 20 minutes. <laughs> I thought that was perfect. He just calmly said, yeah, I'm just going to need that for therapy. She's going to need that for therapy, pay for my therapy. <laughs> oh. Well, actually, Kimberly says it always asks to speak to a supervisor. I think I am going to call a supervisor tomorrow. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's. We I, should not have to when drive you said an that, three when she hours. said insurance first and then gave that price that was a red light going off because she wasn't getting it right quite right and she took so long to look it up and everything so you maybe should call just to see if there's somebody else that might know a little bit more she might not have her everything right when when you have to pay for something that expensive you need to either like call ask to speak to a supervisor or call another place like tara did because sometimes you can get that's a good lesson well see you got this good lesson to tell our viewers to be sure to call some different places you know because you maybe can get a really much better deal on these things i am just <laughs> i i'm not kidding i am just absolutely livid absolutely livid i i that is just wrong it's just flat out wrong. And I called and I said, I called the doctor and I said, yeah, can you transfer these orders for me, please? And she's like, uh, yeah. She said, can I ask why? I said, because Sheridan Hospital wants 1200 bucks and I can drive to Gillette and get it for 200. She said, oh, well, she says, yeah, we'll transfer it for that. She said, that's ridiculous. I said, I know, but I shouldn't have to drive an hour and a half. We're a big enough city. We shouldn't have to drive an hour and a half each way. Mm -hmm. to get a decent ultrasound yeah for gallbladder well if i was wondering if it's a little bit fishy too because um i know i had my medical was totally paid for when i was in kansas and every time i went into the doctor for anything they would say well you need a cat scan or you need to go get this an x-ray or you need that even though the doctor would say i don't think there's anything wrong but just to be, you know, he, he diagnosed as not being anything, but yet they sent me in for this couple of different testings. And I thought these things are expensive, even though I wasn't paying for them. Well, they kind of get, a, I think the doctors in the hospital gets a kickback for every time they recommend to have one of those things done for the people that sell them the machines or someplace, something like that. So Lois Government. is on here. Hello, Lois. You want to see my head explode off the shoulders? <laughs> She says it's not fishy, it's Sheridan. Actually, my buns are going to be at that billing office tomorrow talking to the supervisor. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Anybody want to volunteer then, to go with Tara? <laughs> when I have a stroke, I'll already be there. <laughs> yeah, you will, won't you? <laughs> and if I die, Mike, don't pay the medical bill. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Have to collect it from you, huh? Oh my oh, goodness. Okay. Lois says she'll bail me out. <laughs> jail for when I go off uh, on the hospital. Uh, that's just wrong. I know, but that's that what they just do. Wrong. That's what they do. Oh. As a matter of fact, Harriet's gonna hear about that one too. <laughs> I'm going to go have a talk with Harriet. Uh, I'm going to have Harriet on the show. 
You're going to have her on speed dial, aren't you? Before all I'm going to have Harriet on the show. <laughs> all right, Harriet, you and I, we're going to have some chatting because we think alike. I know. <laughs> and Harriet can do something about it now. Well, maybe not. Maybe but. not. <laughs> all right. Oh. Let's all find our happy place, shall we? <laughs> Tar is going to calm down. <sighs> I'm sorry, but if it wasn't for medical insurance, everybody could be able to, to afford it. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, All it's, right. It's getting crazy, that's for sure. <sighs> and a fine sis. I, I was gonna say, our, <laughs> we have some calm questions. <laughs> our store has holiday essentials section in their ad. It included Oreo ginger. Oh, my word. <laughs> The holiday essentials includes a Oreo gingerbread house, jars of gravy for two fifty, and candy. That's about twenty five cents cheaper than the usual price. <laughs> well, at least it's twenty five cents cheaper. <laughs> Judy, uh -huh. she says we're the best, and she learns a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Because this may be did my she, last show. Say, after did she write stroke. that comment before or after the rant? <laughs> I think it was before. Cheryl, what are the ingredients we use for the cheese spread for Christmas? The Old English and cream cheese. Yeah. It's the little in... jars of Old English, craft Old English cheese. Yeah, I think it's Dining on a Dime Volume 1. And cream cheese. You just mix eight ounces of cream <clears throat> cheese with that. And it's also on our website, livingonadime.com. <clears throat> Olivia, what does member price mean in ads? Very good question. Mm -hmm. That means you have to give them all of your information and your firstborn so that they can track everything you buy and give you special deals. So what I do is I fake it. <laughs> but you have to type in your phone number. You have to you do have to give them your phone number now, but you have to fill out this form with your name and address and phone number. And then they track, they literally track what you buy, but that's the only way to get the sales prices now. It's, I absolutely hate it. And then they'll give you specials depending on what you buy. But yeah, so that's what member price means. Melinda, I don't know how to do the digital coupons. None of us do. You'll just have to ask your store about their particular app because I'm not kidding. Every single app is different yeah. and none of them work. If you take your phone in, they sometimes will have somebody there that can help you at customer service to put it on the phone for you. I spent 45 minutes at Ridley's one day trying and the gal having the gal put it on for me. And then she said, Oh, well they shut the, the site down at the main office. So it's not going to go through. So I, you'll just have to do something later. And so I've never gone back to Ridley's now because I, I couldn't get it on there and I wasn't about to spend another 45 minutes. So all right, guys, our Dining on a Dime cookbooks are on sale, 40% off our full, our full, <laughs> our <laughs> volume one and volume two editions. Easy recipes to get you in and out of the kitchen are gluten-free, dairy-free cookbook. Then our price books, those are all 40% off. Our eBooks are 50% off. And then our <clears throat> undated planner is 20% off right now. And if you don't mind, I'm going to pop I do in mind, here. actually, I Mother. <laughs> she saw my, she saw my cookbook I here. I was on a roll. And, she and was, you have derailed she, me. She was stressing out. She said, what do you got your cookbook here for? But I noticed a couple of people were talking about making homemade Christmas gifts and stuff. Yeah. And Which I, aren't necessarily cheaper. Yeah, you got to be careful. Got to make that. sure. Yeah, you got to make sure. But I know a lot of you just do homemade gifts and nothing, don't buy things. And so I was thinking about that today. And... If you have our book or if you're on the line border or, you know, not sure about buying the book, I was going to tell you, we have got so many good homemade recipes. We've got, if you want candies, we've got our candies. It used to be you'd have to cook candies forever, you know, and do the thermometer and do that. We've got it paired down. Easy. To easy, like two or three ingredients that you just stir together. We've got the York peppermint patties. We've got the... Um, uh, peanut butter cups, and uh, we got easy, um, uh, what? Oh, I can't remember now what I was going to say. Toffee. We got really easy toffee, sugared peanuts we've got, and we've just got all kinds of candies if you want to do candies. But I was going to tell you, too, 
that we have a whole section I wanted to show you. If you want to make gift baskets, oops, sorry. Okay. And this is just ideas to put in for different types of people for gift baskets. And then we've got like this has tea and cookies, pampered princess, honeymoon basket, gardening basket. These are all lists of stuff that to put in for gift baskets and how to make those gift baskets. And then we've got uh, we got stuff for the kids. We've mentioned that before. Like Jerry, yes, there's peanut brittle in there. Yes, we got peanut and brittle. And it's good peanut brittle. It really it's good. It's not the nasty stuff As you a get matter at Walmart. Of, it's my mom's, is it grandma's recipe mm -hmm. that we got in there? And people used to beg my mom to make that. She made it every year for all the neighbors up until about what she was at, 90, 91. She kept making that peanut brittle. So, yeah, it's really good. But we also have a whole section that you can make stuff like lip gloss. We've got chocolate. Bath uh, bombs, yep. Chocolate lotions. lip balm, we've got lotions, we've got, yeah, the bath bomb salve, even the heating pads that you can make and what you can put in there. We've got potpourries, Christmas scented potpourri, and um, uh, what was some of the others? I forget. We've got scrubs, you've got, we've got scrubs, um, bath sachets, we've got potpourri uh, Christmas sachets that you can make. So I just wanted to quickly mention that. If you're making homemade gifts, gifts, be sure to look in our cookbook because we've got all kinds of those types of things yeah. in there. So. And Ellie says, what in tarnation? Oh, my she love, knows is that my mother. love? <laughs> yeah, wait <laughs> till you go back and listen if you came in the middle of your mother's rant. I love you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Ellie. And Lois says, next time you're at Ridley's, ask for Trish. Tell her Lois sent you and she can help you. <laughs> I don't know if mom's ever well, the gal, again. Well, the gal that was helping she, me, she was really, really nice. nice. Yeah. yeah, she it's was not really, the cashier's it was, fault. No, it wasn't her fault. It's just that Ridley's at the main thing went down. And, and just so you know, I'm not chewing out the cashiers no, when uh -uh. this happens. No, it's not them at all. That's why I don't want to even say anything to the cashiers or anything because it's never their fault. Well, well I well, say usually. something because if the cashiers hear it enough, then the cashiers well, say, if we're say tired yeah, of but we this, say it and, nice, say something nice, but you know. But I don't jump all over mm -hmm. them. Dining yeah. One, Judy, has the gift baskets idea. Okay, do we add vanilla to our peanut brittle? No, we don't, huh? Um, okay, but it is really good. As a matter of fact, our old uh, neighbors, I mail him peanut brittle, brittle at Christmas because he just loved it so much. Yeah, it's a special uh, recipe. It's 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 not like anything you buy, and even the homemade peanut brittle I've had from other people, it's just not quite the same. This is re it's really yeah good. Olympia says, "What about the products that are ten for ten? Oh yes, I know. Mm. It drives me nuts too. And Wise Mama Bear says everything is ringing up different at the register. Yep, I, I know. get it. I know. Mike, you can send me the next ones. Um, everybody loves my ranch show. I'm telling you. I just, I'm going to start a rant show. My poor children are just going to be like, oh, mother. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm just, this is just wrong. It's just wrong. And just so you know, I didn't chew out the lady at the billing office or anything like that. No. I am going to have a few words to say to her supervisor, though. That's why we get so much of it. <laughs> That's why you guys get it. Because yeah. she's, because I'm venting to be nice it to, to you. Them. But, I just am like, I just don't even say anything. But because I know the people, the plebes doing the work aren't the ones setting the prices. I totally get that. I'm not stupid. And you know what? If, but guys, if you're, <laughs> I went the other day and you don't think your attitude makes a difference towards the cashiers. Uh, it was getting to be, it was just right after Thanksgiving. And, um, I, things were kind of hectic and I was checking out at Walmart and I told the gal, I said, I'm praying for you guys because I know this is going to be a hectic season for you. And she stopped and looked at me. She said, thank you so much. That means so much to me. So, you know, be nice to the cashiers. Be really nice to them. She told her that right before I went through the line. <laughs> My daughter's on the way, so I'm going to be praying for you. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Wanda says, right now things are on sale, but everything's out of stock. I know. Yeah. They are. you got to get there the day of the sale to get it now. It's ridiculous. Albertsons is the worst. What I do for Albertsons is certain things they don't 
at you know, like the meat. It, once it's gone, it's gone. But some of their other stuff, I can either get a rain check or I'll go on Tuesday morning or Tuesday, not morning, early. I go in a little bit later in the morning on Tuesday, right? Because they're going to change the ad for the next day and they're stocking up on the stuff that was on sale because they're figuring the new ads coming out. So nobody's going to be getting it that much. And they've already got what was on sale. So that's a good time for me to go to Albertsons if that helps some of you. Everybody's saying all the stores are being shady. Nobody's prices are ringing. I know it's ridiculous. Everybody's loving the do mother and the oh. all there. <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Case Sunstorm loves Mike's background. There's Mike right there. We'll add Mike to the stage. Oh, <laughs> there he is. So handsome. Oh, oh no. that's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Lean back so you guys can. <laughs> how does how does that make you feel, Ellie? <laughs> oh, Ellie's probably totally embarrassed now. <laughs> I got to tell you what we did to Dave today. <laughs> Mike and I were talking about something and it's Christmas time and everything, you know, so we were kind of whispering and Dave's like, what were you guys talking about? Because he went out of the room and came back in and Mike said, sex. <laughs> <laughs> Last time he'll do that. <laughs> he was like, oh, <laughs> oh, I thought that was pretty mm -hmm. funny. So, okay. Susan says you're the animal house literary. Oh, I know. And I just came up with the cutest idea that I'm stealing from another YouTuber. Let me show mom real quick. And I thought I should do this. Um, uh, oh, 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 what's it called? Uh, no, it's, um, oh, shoot. Uh, here. Nope. Oh, crud. Let's see. Let me look in my history real quick. Um, you guys, it was the cutest thing. And I thought I should do this. Uh, here it is. Okay. Look at this and tell me what you think of this. Is this not? Oh, you don't have your glasses on. Can I can hear see. if I make it I super see. big. Isn't oh, yeah. that cute? Oh, that's cute. I know, but do you know how much money I could make on that for a video? <laughs> See, Notice which you're one not, of us was you're thinking not, No, I'm frugally. thinking better because I'm thinking how many dollars That's is this really going cute. to be? Yeah, Look at this. Cute. Oops, wrong thing. How do I? She's going to show you guys. Uh, how do I? Let's see. How do I do this? Oh, there's you again. Hello. <laughs> there's you again. <laughs> uh, here, right here. Isn't that the cutest thing? I'm like, I'm going to do something There's even like that. a little that. squirrel that came up on it and everything, too. Wouldn't that be cute That's in our front really yard? That's cute. See? <laughs> I'm like, I'm stealing that idea with all the animals and just walking everywhere. And Okay. You just see the raccoon flipping the bull up in the air first thing and scattering everything. Yeah. Positive That's probably part. Yeah, that's probably. <laughs> as long as I catch him on camera, that's all I that's care all about. That's all you care about. <laughs> all right. Um, and Joanne says, always watch the screen when they're scanning. Yes, yes. I do not let them ring anything up until I see it. Not one thing. Mm -hmm. that is Judy, good. we don't have Ridley's. Is it like Kroger or Walmart? It's like neither. It's just an independent grocery yeah, store. Just so mom and pop it used to be Safeway. Grocery yeah, store. Yeah, now it's just like a smaller. I think they're in the Safeway chain or Food Lion chain or I don't know. Somebody they're kind of it's with, a little tiny, but or not a little. No, tiny, we don't small. have Aldi here. That's part mm -hmm. of our problem for groceries. Um, Patricia, get a chuck roast on sale and ground your own meat. Yep, that's mm -hmm. that's a great way to do it. Um, okay, yeah, and you see. can use the chuck roast for stew meat or all kinds of different things, you know. Yep. Um, my grocery store is flour, sugar, brown sugar on sale for the holidays for $1.49. Very good. Yes, mm -hmm. that's a good deal. Now it is. It used to be 99 cents. Now I would say $1.49 is a good deal. Should I use brown sugar or white sugar with a little molasses for baking? Well, it just depends on what it calls for. So if the recipe calls for brown sugar, then you can use brown sugar. Or if you don't have brown sugar, you can use white sugar with molasses. That's fine um, if you want to. Marilyn. Oh, and wait till you guys see... The videos. This was mom idea that I that I that I expanded on. 
that we're coming up with. We're going to do the 12 Hallmark recipes of Christmas next week. Oh, that'll be fun. And Mike and I are going to be in there. We're going to throw flour in each other's face. <laughs> and then, aren't we dear? I'm so glad and I'm then, then we're going to. Oops, wait a minute. Wrong screen. Okay. <laughs> then, then we're going to put the butter in the microwave. And almost touch hands. <laughs> And then we're going to fall on the kitchen floor with flour everywhere and roll and gaze into each other's eyes. Oh. I think that'll be good. I don't know. But you're going to do recipes, Christmas recipes, aren't you, from the book? Is that what you're doing? Yes. No, I'm doing Hallmark recipes. <laughs> Some really yummy things yes. for Christmas. Um, okay, let's see. Am I a hot tea or hot chocolate person? Well, I'm hot tea, but I used to be hot chocolate before I had to go dairy free, but now I do hot chocolate with coconut milk. So yeah, so it just kind of depends. I am a tea drinker though. She does. Year round. Oh, speaking she of coffee, which, so she drinks hot tea. Speaking of which, time. thank you, Mary. She oh, sent my oh, great you guys' favorite English gold, <laughs> and then she sent me some huckleberry jam, which is delicious. Ooh. And she sent me a card, and then we also got a card from Tammy and Carol. And they are very cute. I was going to say, you guys come up with thank some of the you. cutest cards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So the Christmas gifts are rolling in, and we appreciate it. You guys so are much. so sweet to think of. I us. love my English tea. So, yes, I'm a tea drinker. Um, <clears throat> Stacy says she's been reading our articles online. Thank you. Oh, good. For years. Patty says, also today, Mom Pop Store, she got 60 ounces of food club pasta, two for a dollar. That's a great deal. Mm. Good job. Vicki says, inside ads are not usually that great. No, they're just actually fillers, so I wouldn't usually look. Can you see me the next ones, Mike? Um, Pamela loved the turkey recipe. Darning mm. I Dime, volume one, 40% off. That's Mom's turkey recipe. She said, oh my goodness, it's the best we've had in 50 years. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Wow, that's saying a lot. It's like once people so, try that recipe, they don't go back to anything else. Yeah. It's hard to eat. It, oh, it is. I hard. bring church turkey to the church potlucks now. Yeah, I don't want to be eating. It's really hard to eat other people's turkey yeah. after making that because it's so no. moist. It's yeah. just. Unreal. I offer to bring people, the turkey. I don't know how many people we've had that say, I never touch turkey because it's too dry and yucky. We'll have that recipe or try that when their wives yeah. make it or something and they just love it. So yeah. it yeah. makes a difference. Thank you, dear. All right, and um, Vicki says it only takes a few minutes to see what's on sale. Yeah, this is, I'm showing you the ads and I'm giving you a long explanation for people who don't know how to do it, but this literally takes me two minutes a week. Yeah. L literally. I was five minutes this yeah. morning looking at both places and writing it all down and everything, so. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, let me get. <laughs> sorry. They're like those stupid birds. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, I think I got the birds stopped. If they're not on the stage, there they stopped. Guys, let me know if they're stopped. Now. <laughs> Kill the dumb birds. They're making too much noise. <laughs> okay, maybe you don't want my bird video. <laughs> Oops, still my ears. <laughs> Getting disheveled. It's been a long day. Uh, I got the last of the Christmas oh, decorations I wish you guys today. could see. I can't wait for her to show you her Christmas. I'll pat you. Oh, my goodness. She re she always does beautiful, but she just went all the so, way out this year. I oh about my had a meltdown with the Christmas decorations this year. I Mike almost had oh, to put wait me till in you the say him. You'll understand why. That was a lot of work. <laughs> well, so what happened was with the remodel, stuff was in different places now. So I was like, oh, now what do I do? And I could not figure out where to put anything. And so I started on the day after Thanksgiving and I just got done today. But um, then the Christmas tree. <laughs> Did Brad have a Christmas tree for you? 
He did not. Oh, Brad did. Oh, Brad failed. Brad said he had oh, trees. Dear, Brad. And there was one tree. <laughs> I was Brad. like, Brad, this is not trees. This is tree. He failed you. <laughs> Although he did get one in later that day after I already bought one. <laughs> but I, so then I was fighting the stupid lights on the tree that I tried to flock that was ruined. I was poofing white dust everywhere from the flocking that didn't work and that tree was about to go sailing and so um so i uh i was like forget it everybody told me not to put the tree in the shower to wash it okay i won't do that <laughs> so i took it outside had mike help me haul it outside i whacked it with the broom it came, some of it came off, but it just wasn't coming off. And my hoses are still frozen, so I can't get the hoses to wash it down. Somebody said, take it to a car wash. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be a good idea. But Mike's like, really? I don't think it's worth taking to the car wash. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So um, I was like, all right, that's fine. It's Christmas season. I'm hitting all the thrift stores. This was what, Tuesday? Mm -hmm. Hit every thrift store, no trees, no trees, no trees. And the restore did have one. And I was like, oh, that's the tree I want. It was really full and beautiful. And then it said not for sale. Oh, no. I'm like, don't be putting a tree up in your store. You're not selling. <laughs> so, and it was a perfect tree. It was gorgeous. So I was like, okay. So I was like, Lord, I really need a tree. Could you please get me a tree? So then a lady had one for $100 on Upcycle. And I was like, on Facebook. And I was like, oh, $100 is pretty much a lot. But it's $300 at Home Depot. And I didn't want to spend $300 at Home Depot. Well, then I was getting ready to con that, contact that lady and popped up another one for $50. And it's already pre-lit everything. It's only two years old. Everything's working. So I ran and got that one. And um, got it put up. Of course, it's bigger, so now I got to get more ornaments. <laughs> Wait till you see it, and she's saying she's going to get more ornaments. You should see it. <laughs> I'm just yes. kidding. But I got everything figured out, and I went to Walmart, and I got me. I paid full price for some clear totes, and I am not going to apologize. How could you do that when we get them free at the garage sale? I paid full price. <laughs> because I was like, this is driving me. Because I didn't have, I don't have time to wait until June or July. I'm not leaving my Christmas decorations up till July. So they were only $6 each. And I went and got me seven totes. So now what I'm going to do is I figured out a plan so that next year, so I don't have a complete meltdown. I'm going to take everything on the railing and everything on the railing goes in one clear tote. Everything on the gnome tree goes in another clear tote. Everything on the vintage tree goes in another clear tote. Everything on the Santa Claus tree goes in another tote. Everything on the Christmas tree <laughs> goes in another tote. The fireplace mantle goes in another tote. The kitchen up stuff goes in another tote. The kitchen bottom stuff goes in another tote and then the outdoor flowers go in another tote you get this from your father's side of the family not from your mother uh, but i hey at least i'm organized <laughs> <laughs> it was hard for it's been hard for me since we moved here to put my stuff out too because what happens is i always had a certain place for years and years to put everything and now that place isn't there and I can't figure out where, you know, to put things. So I know what you were going through, except on a much smaller scale, my five things that I set out. <laughs> so Susan, the answer is yes, I will show my Christmas decorations. <laughs> After all that work. After I recover my sanity. Well, and then the stupid geraniums. I don't know why I'm overwintering these geraniums. Those things are the messiest things. It took me like an hour to clean up the geranium mess. Here, I was admiring mine today because it's looking so good. I even so, put a decoration on it. Well, anyway, I was dinking with all the geraniums trying to get that mess. She does have out. a lot of geraniums, so. I've only got six left. There's That's only six geraniums. Hmm. Yeah. Like more than that. No. Do you have other plants there? Uh, some coleus. Oh, 
That's but what I was thinking it was I've good. only got, I think, eight or nine plants there. It's only eight or nine plants, but it's just making the biggest mess. It is not. <laughs> you know, I'm just teasing it's you. It's just a huge mess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Melissa says, oh, I just ordered volume one, Dining on Dime volume two. She loves the tips mm. and recipes from volume one. So she got volume Thank two. Thank you. Very good. Yay. They're 40% off, guys. It only happens twice a year. Also, our undated planners, which normally don't go on sale, are 20% off right now. You can see inside all of these on the sales page. And I've said, told you guys this before in years past, but for anybody new, if you're going to do Christmas baking, take and measure out this week. You know, measure out the dry ingredients for all the different things you're going to make so that when the time comes in a week or two and you're going to mix everything up, you've at least got all the dry ingredients, you know, measured and ready for you. You just have to dump it together then. So so then when Mike comes over, you can splash, splash. flour. <laughs> uh, I always think, why do they put that in those movies? What a mess that makes. I mean, it's a big enough mess baking, let alone... Throw. What difference does it you make? They're making millions well, of dollars. I know, but you think these grown adults wouldn't be wanting to do that in their they, kitchen. They hire people to clean up the mess. <laughs> That's why mm. Jack and Dave are going to be cleaning up our mess. I guess I'm saying it's not a real reality type show. Well, They're of course showing. it's not. Who sits there? I okay, say, who, my love. I was say who decorates my Christmas love. decorations like that, but there. I guess... I guess. Who sits there while they're putting the margarine in or the butter in the microwave to melt and goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone walked in. Do they do that <laughs> in the movies? <laughs> do they do that in those movies? Yes. yes. Every time. <laughs> Somebody was noticing that I have alfalfa hair. If you look at the picture with the background. You... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, dear. Oh, that's too funny. Susan says I should ask them to price master on the ultrasound. And Wanda thinks they were looking at ball gallbladder surgery. I don't think so. I think gallbladder surgery, if, oh, if it has be, to be taken out, it's going to be $10,000. Yeah, it'll be a lot more than that. Mm hmm. Yeah, it, medical is getting really crazy now. It really is. Thanks, Obama. <sighs> yeah, it's really bad. I'm sorry. Oh, man, I got things I could say about that, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut because I'm a Christian. <laughs> Kimberly, I'm determined to learn how to finally make bread. I'm going to set some stuff to make bread, and that's my New Year's resolution. Kimberly, you don't know how to make bread. Come on, girlfriend. <laughs> Actually, so listen, here's the thing. Don't worry about it. Make yourselves 10 loaves of bread. Our son-in-law, I don't know what the deal is, has gotten on this bread baking kick and he sat and figured it's 18 cents a loaf. And he's like, well, shoot, I'm going to make a loaf every day. And he's been like experimenting with all these crazy bread recipes and everything. And I'm like, 18 cents. Think about it. 18 cents a loaf. You can make 150 loaves. And you would still be fine. Once you get to loaf about four or five, you're going to start getting the knack down and realizing it's it's and not that hard. If you're really, really kind of intimidated, what I would do is start out with doing a dinner roll recipe. Like we've got the 90 minute rolls in the book. Do a small dinner roll. A uh, dinner roll. Uh, you know, it's the same thing as the bread. It's just on a smaller scale. So you could practice with that once or twice, and then you'll get the kneading of the dough down used to doing a small amount of dough, and then you can move up to a larger one. You know, doing the bread. And Jeanette says, Tara, watch her say, "I am the supervisor." <laughs> probably <laughs> my a town this size. Probably you got to be careful in a town this do. size. Oh, you do, man. You have to be very careful. Barbara, make sure you ask how much extra the physician bill will be to interpret the ultrasound. You know what's funny is Jack said, Mom, is that the is that also the amount to diagnose it? And he's right. And I think it is. I think it is. So I'm going to double check, though, beforehand. because. But even at that, if I have to pay $250 for, for another physician to look at it, that's still, still $500 versus mm -hmm. $1,200. Jerry says the gluten-free 
brownies she made in our cookbook are very delicious. Oh. Thank you. Yes, they are. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I made some the other day and some regular brownies. And the boys ate all of my gluten-free brownies. <laughs> I was like, those were my brownies, which is probably a good <laughs> thing they ate them. But anyway, yeah. Lois says she loves both of their cookbooks. They contain a wealth of information. Thank you. Thank you. She's not just saying that either. She has to. <laughs> you didn't force her to, huh? Her you to. didn't force her to say that. Um, and Grandma So Huffy says, Homestead says, I have all three of the books and she loves them. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Mike, did you send me the next? Oh, okay. Um, and Jerry says, uh, yeah. our Explorer says, I bought your book several years ago. Does it have the same recipes? Yes, it does. And Darlene says she's making the taco seasoning for Christmas right here. Yep. Very good. That's a great gift. Yeah. Those seasonings are really, you could do a whole basket of the different seasonings we have in the book, the Italian yep. and the taco and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, and Alice, no, I work in medical. Anything that deals with cash is run by our supervisor and doctors. That's why she had to call you back. We are to use insurance. Cash call is rare so it's run by them for a quote on the price wow that's just crazy mm -hmm. uh pamela our credit score is zero telling was telling my brother and sister-in-law about it and they went on about how bad that was 58 years haven't charged abroad anything in my years what's your all's opinion well so here's the thing if you don't if you pay cash for everything you don't need to get loans so yeah. it doesn't really matter now i will say this is something I don't agree with Dave Ramsey on, though, because we I, I had a friend in Colorado who followed his plans and all this. They were debt free and everything. They saved up cash, spent 20 years saving up cash and didn't have enough to buy a house. So they um, got a loan, which was in their budget and everything. They could not get a loan. They could not get a loan. And they had a really, really hard time. And so they were finally, they changed banks, credit unions. They went through all these different things. I don't remember all the different places. And finally, they got someone to um, give them a loan. But it was months and months. It was like two or three months of them trying to, um, trying to get a loan for their house. And they, they had no bills. They had no car payment, no student loans, nothing. And they had 20% down cash and they wouldn't give them a loan. So I do not agree with Dave Ramsey on this. And so, and he can push all of his whatever, but he gets a kickback from them. So he gets a kickback from all those people he's recommending. And we used a realtor that they recommended um, when we sold our house in Kansas and they were awful. So I will never use anything that he recommends for his financial people again, because you guys got to know when he recommends those places, it's because he's getting a kickback from them. He's not just recommending them to be nice. They don't even have a way to check them out. Yeah, there's no way they could check out all these people who they recommend. So I, I, I would say if you're going to buy a house or something, yeah, I probably would get a credit card and start building up your credit. And it has nothing to do, credit card is not free money. You have to pay a credit card back. But just pay it off. And in order to build your credit, you may have to not pay it off each time. You may have to let interest accrue like a time or two. But just do it for like $20, $50. And it'll be like 20 cents interest. And then go and pay it off, you know, the second month in order to start so they can see that you're building credit. But, you know, if you're going to buy a house or something, it can be a real problem to not have credit. But see, like I'm in a position where I don't have to buy a house. You know, I really don't. Yeah. So I'm you don't gonna, need it. I don't really need credit because I I don't need yeah. to buy anything or get a loan for anything. But so if you're not buying anything, there's no big deal. Yeah. I, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't mess with a credit card or anything. The only reason why we use credit cards is for the perks, like for car rentals and stuff like that. And the cash back points. I do use it for the cash back well, points, I was say but I would pay cash for all the stuff that I put on the credit card. Yeah. 
I don't just go buy stuff because I no. think the credit card is free money. What I know I, how much I'm spending. Yeah. What I do is I put uh, everything on my credit card when I go to the grocery store because I'm going to be buying that anyway, paying cash for it. But I just put it on the credit card and I paid off at the end of the month. I've never for years ever paid interest on a credit card. I haven't. I just paid off at the end of the month. And then I can tell exactly how much I spend at the end of the month on yeah. everything by using that credit card, but it's all paid off at the end of the month. So there's no interest. I'm yeah. not out anything, you know, I just, mm -hmm. but I, I think I have good credit on top of that. But. Olivia says her order arrived so quickly. Got her cookbooks yesterday. My daughter said, you got a heavy package from living on a dime. She said, as she walked in the door, <sighs> yay. Oh, you yeah. know what? I picked this up today. It's heavy. Well, Tar, it's five pounds to ship. I know. It's Tar pounds, picks yeah. these up and put through, and I could hardly pick this up. It's really heavy. So there's a lot of stuff in there, guys. There really is. Karen says, share away, Tara. So many don't know to check other places for prices. It's federal law. I know. They have to disclose the prices now. Yeah. Diana, I was folding towels in the laundry room when Tara was ranting, and I was laughing so hard saying, you go, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> As we came to the laundry room, make sure I was okay and who the heck I was talking to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh, you, Diana. That's good. I'm talking that's to funny. you right back. <laughs> and it's a good thing. Tell your husband, husband, your husband. Good job checking on you. Yes, and he was concerned about you. That you're I, talking to yourself. <laughs> I fell out of bed this morning. Oh, no. Did thankfully, Michael notice? thankfully, I didn't hit my head, and Michael was right there in like 10, not even 10 seconds, my, checking to make Mike sure. Mike only half sleeps at night. She does more weird things in the night to hurt herself. I don't think I've fallen out of bed since I was two. I heard the <laughs> She's run into the door at night from having a night. She jumped out of bed one time and hit yeah, her head on the door. door. Yeah. Had to take her to the emergency yeah. room. He's forever having to jump yeah. up and figure out what's happening with her. Nancy says, Brookshire Shires and Super One, their receipts are very readable. Well, good, good. for you, Brookshires and Super One. I don't know what kind of places those are, grocery stores, I guess. So good job. Dixie says a lot of scams are being sold on Amazon too. Yes, mm. I know. She said she got her second item yesterday. It was nothing like it was advertised. I know it's getting really bad. Yeah. Thankfully, so far, when we've had that happen, Amazon has taken care of it. But man, I don't know. Karen says, hey, Mike, I made the green chili this week. That's one of Mike's favorite. Yes, a super easy recipe. Sharon our Safeway, they changed how the digital coupon price comes off. They don't subtract the savings till the end, so it's impossible to make sure your savings are correct. I yeah. know. Yeah. I uh, I have to say, I am trying to think of the last time that I had not have had them correct something. Now, this last one I did. It No, because one of the things he rung up and I caught wasn't right. I don't know the last time I got a grocery receipt and I didn't have to tell the cashier to fix something. I can't and think of the last time. Be aware of that even if you get home and you look at your receipt and it's wrong, you can take it back. You know, you can take yeah. the ad that you had for yeah. that week that showed the price and take it back. So send me the next ones, Mike. Tanya says her dog really liked the bird sounds. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Really sorry. Everybody's cat was up watching and dog was watching their computer. Uh, Country <laughs> Hillman's network says how late or howling. She means how long, I think. Does brown and white sugar last forever? Ever. Forever. Uh, if brown sugar gets hard, just put a piece of bread in there, close it up, and the next morning it'll be softened. You, if you, you need it right away, you can put it in the microwave. microwave. Yeah. And yeah, white have sugar a video on will that. never, ever. Yeah. Go bad. Wanda says, have we ever ground up steak or roast to put in the place of hamburger? I have not because I can't bring myself to cut up a good steak for hamburger. I know. I don't know. I've never done that. But a lot, I've heard of people doing it and they say it's really good. So, yeah. Um, Marilyn Monroe says, it will be better than peanut butter poop on Mike's arm. Looking forward to the Hallmark recipe. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Olympia says, who's going to clean all this up? The boys. <laughs> the boys. You know, I think she needs to ask the question. 
Oh, ask the questions. Yeah, no kidding. No, it'll probably, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. It'll probably be me. By the way, when the boys do business work, we pay them very well, I might add. Uh, the beauty of autumn says, do we have bears there? Yes, we do. So. Yeah, they won't go after them now. They're in hibernation, but yeah. Sandra says, I should have shopped back to my tree. I have given up on the tree, but speaking of birds, I have come up with another idea for the tree that I'm going to use it for. So it's sitting on my front porch and I'll show it to you guys later. Um, Kimberly says, I remember when you bought all that stuff over the summer for Christmas. I know, and I still don't have enough. You can't imagine. I have guys, some big holes. You cannot imagine. I have, oh, and the big I let her yes, watch some big National holes. Lampoon movie too much. I let her watch it too much. I should have controlled her on that one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Karen says the birds are to keep Tar's blood pressure down. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'd hate to take my blood pressure after I found out $1,200. Oh my goodness. Mike, listen here, dear. You're back on here again. If I die, you sue that hospital. Okay? If I die from a stroke. If I die from a stroke from the prices, you sue the hospital. Right? See? Fatal price errors. Yes. <laughs> um, what is payment for ordering? Credit card, or you can send a check if you want. Living on a dime, P.O. Box 6837, Sheridan, Wyoming, 82801 um, is where you can mail that. Be sure to add shipping, please. Um, Sandra, yeah, I wouldn't probably be doing all that in the spring when the grizzly bears are coming out. We don't have grizzlies here yet. We just have black bears. Sandra, uh, really watch hard to watch everything ring up in the cart. Yeah, I know. The clearance items, every time something's on clearance, I take a picture of it because Walmart never rings them up right. Like 90% of the time, something's on clearance at Walmart. Oh, and here's one for ya. <sighs> I'm going on a rant. I'm just going to start hitting the stores and going on rants. So here's one. I got two pairs of pants for Jack. You need a soapbox. Like, I like do. Yeah. I got a little box down here. I do. You want to stand on it? Stand up in the corner of the store. Go get me my box of soap over there, dear. Um, I got Jack two pairs of pants. I was at Walmart. It wasn't ringing up on my credit card. I don't know why she couldn't find all my credit card because I paid for it on my credit card. So I pull up the Walmart app. I'm looking through the Walmart app. I said, it's right here. She said, yep, that's it. I said, oh, okay, start return. So I did the return. She was sitting there watching me do the return. Got a return. Show her the barcode. She scans the barcode, return it. It says, this item cannot be returned, was returned on another order. She wouldn't return it. Oh, my word. I had to get a, a Walmart gift. She said, well, this time I'll give you a Walmart gift card. I said, you looked at it right here. You saw me doing it right here. And it said right there, return to the store for a refund. It mm. had not been refunded yet. Yeah. So Walmart's just as bad. So I don't know. And then, so then that same $14 for that pair of pants, was it day before yesterday? Oh, it was the Mr. Man on the conveyor belt that day. Oh, the potato chip man? Yeah, it was that day. <laughs> oh. Do you have any tranquilizers? Maybe you should take some next time you go to the Walmart or Elvis. How was I, dear, when I came back from Walmart that day? I got a, I got an earful for that, too. Yeah, she was not a heavy giver. And actually, she was a lot nicer to him than I would have been. And that's me. So then I go to pay for it. And the lady says, there's nothing on this card. On the gift card that they gave oh, me. That happened to a guy in line in front of me. And the she other said, day. There's nothing on this yeah. card. I said, You he need to run it, it again. She said, There's nothing on this card. I said, I know there is something on that card. I just got that card two weeks ago for a return because the return didn't work. 
I said, I know there's money. No, nope, there's no money on there. So I, I'm like, I, there was 20 people in line. I don't care. And I know this is not the cashier's fault, but Walmart needs to get this under control. So I am digging through the 300 receipts in my purse. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not leaving. I know there's money on that card. And I found the receipt. And guess what? Magically, they were able to give me the $14 on that card. Mm -hmm. A guy I've had just this past week, a guy in front of me, he had, he said, well, I got this gift card. And they said, well, there's nothing on there. And she tried and tried and she wouldn't, he couldn't use it. I almost feel like I'm, I'm being watched when I go to Walmart now, because every time I go, there is a problem with my returns. There's a problem with my gift cards. If I get them, which isn't that often, but every time I've had to get like Jack gets them for his birthday or something. And so then I give him the cash for them. And then I just use them at the store because he doesn't ever want to buy anything at Walmart. They are kind of a pain. I've had trouble with them before. It's not that they never ended up not giving it to me, but I've had a lot of trouble. Were you going to so, talk about the potato chip man? Did you look at what Shannon said? What'd Shannon say? Shannon, do I tell you about potato chip? Oh, hi, man? Shannon. <laughs> I, I, I don't love know if my blood pressure little... can handle potato chip man. Emoji things, is that what they're called? I love it when she puts her smiley faces on. <laughs> okay, potato chip man. The potato chip man was pretty funny. So it's Thanksgiving weekend. Why? Oh, I know why I had to go because I wouldn't have a car this week. So I had to go shopping on Sunday because I, I wouldn't have a car this week. So, or at least I didn't think I did. And so um, I go to Walmart on Sunday after Thanksgiving, <laughs> which I don't normally do. So I get up there, I have a basket full of stuff. I don't know why I had a basket full of stuff, but I did. And anyway, so um, I get up there. And this man, about 60s, extremely overweight, which is pertinent to this story. <laughs> this man, okay, so how long is the conveyor belt at Walmart? What do you think? Six feet six long? Six feet, yeah, about six feet. He has like seven items. I kid you not. <laughs> I just thought the afraid. entire conveyor belt, belt was filled with these six small items. He had like three bags of potato chips, one thing of lunch meat, a thing of bread, and I don't know, a couple other things, coffee or something like that. I don't remember everything he had. I should have been videotaping this. So there was a huge line, Sunday, Walmart. Okay. So I don't ever touch anybody's potato chips. <laughs> Heaven forbid you touch somebody's potato chips. So I was like, okay, maybe. We had them spread out, right? So what happened was six feet of conveyor belt. He had seven items along this conveyor belt, like a foot apart. I was like, what in the world? <clears throat> so I take the little thingy and I start pushing his potato chips forward a little bit so I can have some room to start unloading my huge basket load of stuff so the poor cashier isn't waiting for me to unload because he has his stuff strung out so long. Oh my goodness, he's, don't touch my potato chips. I don't want them smashed. I didn't even do anything. Well, first of all, I moved him. Well, I did do something, but I moved him like two inches. I wasn't like flinging them. And now I'm spitting. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't like flinging them. I wasn't like just smashing them on. I just gently laid them a little bit closer, pushed them with the little thing, got them a little bit closer. I was like, I'm sorry, but I was just trying to make it easier for the cashier since I have a bunch of stuff and there's a whole bunch of people in line. I'm not going to tell you what Mike said when I got home. Well, yeah, I am going to tell you. He said, you should have told him, well, you don't need the potato chips anyway. And what I wanted to say was the man was about 60, but you could tell. And what I wanted to say was, well, at 70 years old, you should learn how to load the conveyor belt at Walmart. <laughs> you know, we could do almost a whole show on our experiences Walmart. at the grocery stores. <laughs> I didn't tell you, I don't think about the time I went to Albertsons. And 
the lady was taken and put in her shopping basket. Which... Wanda says he didn't want his food touching. I know! <laughs> That's good. That's ridiculous! That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. Catherine says no to self tar, no shopping at Walmart on the weekend. Save your sanity. I know. I know. I, know. I put on the I calendar it all the time. I put on the. So here's what's funny. I put on the calendar for the last parent meeting at school. <coughs> Tara, do not go. <laughs> so I did that, and I'm like, I'm not going. I even took my bath. I was in my pajamas, and the PTO leader texts me and says, are you coming to the meeting? <laughs> I said, I told you I'm not coming to any more meetings. Oh, come on. It'll be fine. <laughs> and she spent like a half an hour texting back and forth trying to get me to go to the meeting. I did not go. I did not go. Sorry. Sorry. So about the grocery store. Yes. Hmm. Well, I went to Albertsons and this lady said, don't I went to get in line behind this lady and she said no no you got to go to another place and I there you know the other place had a whole bunch of people in line I said I didn't know why because she was the only one she had gotten her cart stuck you know when you put the, go the cart between the the conveyor belt and the candy thing and all that she got it stuck and she finally got somehow she crammed it and knocked everything off to get it through and another person was getting ready to go through before me and they had that too close together and they said you we can't use this one and i thought did they just discover that that conveyor belt was not working in this grocery store <laughs> who would design this so you couldn't get the shopping cart through i mean the shopping carts would not go through and i thought how long has that store been there and they're just now figuring out that that conveyor belt section it didn't make sense to me at all it was it was really kind of strange and everybody else was having a problem with it too wondering what in the world is going i've never had anybody get stuck going putting their card through i'm putting a gopro on my head and i'm just gonna start shopping with the gopro <laughs> i tell you missy <laughs> says yes to clear coats thank you missy <laughs> i have six christmas trees and i store my stuff each in its own tote yes that's what i'm doing now i'm going through and dumping everything that if it is not being used this year or I know or like it's a replacement for something that I use all the time, if it's not being used or a replacement that I know I'll use later, it is getting to the trash or the thrift store. It's done. And then each every section is getting its own tote. Uh, Connie got her price pick today and she's so excited. Thank you. 40% oh. off right now, guys, for our living on a dime black friday christmas sale volume one and volume two guys and then our dining on a dime gluten-free dairy-free cookbook easy recipes get you in and out of the kitchen susan wants to know if you're doing gingerbread men this year i don't know am i no no i'm not <laughs> <laughs> just for us i'm just doing them for us olympia says my first in case you're wondering, we were talking about possibly doing it for a school fundraiser, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. So Olympia, my first floor apartment is so small. I put my tree in my office. Very good. Very good. Um, Bounty in the Badlands says, first year I've not seen trees on Facebook Marketplace. Interesting. Huh? Mm. Um, Kenneth says, are you going to hate me since I'm decorating with stained glass birds this year? No, I love mm, birds. She birds loves them. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh susan have you noticed selling items for good price next week they are cheaper price but not as good sale uh i know here it's the opposite they have the good price and then it's more expensive the next week here is how they do it so that's interesting shadonna send me the next ones mike shadonna says fabulous cookbooks thank you thank she's you. made everything so far in volume one wow Oh my word. That is 500 recipes. Oh my word. You're Good. Busy. Wow. wow. Um, just to try your recipes, you know how uh, you know how to get a cookbook. I think she means maybe know how to make a cookbook. I don't know. And you only ever do a couple of recipes. Oh, you know how you get a cookbook and you only do a couple of recipes. Oh. Not these. You will make them all. Yay. Yay that's so glad. Thank yes, you. We tested every single recipe in this book. We know they work. We tried to make them practical <laughs> recipes that normal people would like, you yep. know, not gourmet. Yep. Okay. Uh, Lake Trio, I, every time, I'm sorry, I never remember. Um, 
be sure to ask for cash discount. I did ask for the cash discount. I did. Yeah, um, sometimes they won't give them to you for different reasons. Darlene says, we're so bubbly tonight. Thank you. I started Moringa again. It didn't help me before, but I think it's helping me. I've been on it four or five days, and it's the only way I got through my Christmas decorating because I didn't have any energy, and now I do. So, I yes. Judy, how long does it take to receive volume one? It should take up to 10 days. After 10 days, you need to contact us, but most people have been getting them in three to five days. Mm -hmm. Kimberly should have bought it 20 years earlier, then they would have had equity in the home and that is much better return than saving cash in the savings account. Well, yeah, it would have been, except they just didn't have the money for the down payment. So they, they had nothing for the down payment. So yeah. Tammy, um, also there are specific gallbladder scans that are more intense and she may have pulled the one that is just not the basic ultrasound. Yeah, I don't know, but that's just ridiculous. The Country Humans Network, how expensive is your property and sales tax in Wyoming? So I don't, so I'm not going to say how much ours is personally, because I, you know, I mean, it's, it's not going to matter. Everybody's is different. But I will say that moving here, our income taxes, we have no income taxes. So for us, we saved like a huge chunk of change on income tax. We don't have food tax. Our car taxes are lower. Yeah, I said no income tax, didn't I? Well, I mean, we saved moving here because there is no income tax. Uh, there's no tax on food. Our car taxes are lower. Our property taxes are the same as what they were in Colorado, but everything else is cheaper. But see, so. like for me, now my tags are higher and my property tax are higher. Because she came from Kansas. Because I came from Colorado. Kansas. So, you know, it's going to be, it just is. Yes. But your but, electric bill is much lower because you don't run your air conditioner in the summer. Yeah, see, that's where I save is I don't have to run my air conditioner in the summer. So I save for about six months out of the year, a high. Tammy know, says, sign me up for the rant channel. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, you guys, if you have rant ideas, because I have viewers that have been sending me stuff that I'm saving. And let me tell you. I've been thinking about it because I'm trying to figure out what to do if we don't continue the grocery audits, trying to do the next uh, plan here. Um, is your leg going numb? Mm -mm. No, I'm fine. I was, I think it was. Okay. Uh, okay, here it is. Christine, when you freeze milk, then take it out to use it. How long will it last? Just like normal milk, like two weeks usually. If you froze, if you froze it, as soon as you got it home, it'll last. Two like weeks, for, however long. Yeah, yeah. For like the expiration yeah. date. Now, if you leave it in the refrigerator for a week or so and then put it in the freezer, it's not going to last quite as long. It just goes through. If the expiration yeah. date is three weeks when you buy it then and you put it in the freezer, it'll last yeah. three weeks after you take it out of the freezer. EP wants to know, volume one printed in 2020, is it still the same? Yes, it is. It is still the same. And Nebo wants to see ranting with Tara. <laughs> oh, Illuminate. I want to hear Walmart etiquette rant too. The same day at Walmart. <laughs> What's like, I am doing 12 days of etiquette for Walmart. <laughs> okay. Mother. Hmm. You know the main aisles at Walmart, and then you have your, we'll call sub aisles. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you call them. When you're in the main aisle, and someone comes to a joint from a sub aisle, who has the right of way? Main aisle. You would think, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, no. I about got into a shoving mask with carts for people just ramming out into the aisle. <laughs> I saw, I can't I believe we're, we're talking about Walmart. Right before I came over, they, I saw this meme popped up on, on my computer, and it shows... Ladies at Walmart in the 1960s, and I mean, they're dressed in fancy suits, hose, heels, the hair's all done up, the makeup and everything. So that's the women in the 1960s. And then it has one women at Walmart now, you know, 1923 mm -hmm. or tw 2023. And they had onesie pajamas on and slippers. <laughs> I thought, I have seen people there in their pajamas. I'm just amazed how many people 
Well, not just at Walmart, but any place where they're pajamas. I just can't believe it. So jo Joanne wants you to do a healthy eating show on keeping slip. <laughs> She's laughing at my eating habits. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the comments on that one. Uh, yeah. Stop eating so much food is what it boils down to. Yeah, I, I was talking to Tara about that, about doing another little show on um, uh, eating habits and that type of thing. So maybe in January we might hit that. Um, okay, let's see. Christine, wow, I returned a pair of $25 boots to get an e-gift card. I tried twice to redeem it, spent two hours on the phone trying to resolve it. Oh, my word. <sighs> that would make me so mad. I don't blame you. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I almost don't want to shop for anything yeah. because getting to return this stuff is such a hassle because it's either not what they say, you can't try it on for some reason, or like when I go to Walmart, there's never a lady at the tryout place. Oh, yeah. Or fitting rooms. Yeah. And, um, or what? I mean, it's just one thing after another. I'm about to go minimalist. <laughs> That'll, that'll be I've got to see this. Dear, You're getting rid of those four ornaments off of your fourth tree. <laughs> minimalist, huh? <laughs> that'll be an exciting day. <laughs> Although I have to say, I absolutely love your decorating. So it, they are beautiful. Maybe minimalist is a good idea I for you. Shouldn't laugh at it because they're amazing. <laughs> Minimalist, it is not. <laughs> Can you send me the next questions, Mike? <laughs> Vicki, I bought a gift card at Walmart. I gave it to my coworker for Christmas. She was afraid to ask me, but she did ask if I had the receipt. No money on the card. I know. I think they're doing this on purpose because person after person is having this problem. Yeah. So if you get a gift card from Walmart, while you're standing there, you tell them you want a piece of tape to tape the receipt right then and there to that gift card. You're not leaving until they do it. Mm -hmm. And if you can, and actually what I would do is I would go to a different register and make them scan that gift card and see if there's something on it. Like if you're doing a return, there's usually two or three people there at the, at the return thing. Have one of them scan it and make, make sure, sure it's, it's on there. there. Yeah. It's getting awful. It's getting Especially absolutely awful. Especially if you awful. have a big amount on there. Yeah, Bounty in the Badlands says she always gives the gift receipt. Yes, please do that. And you know what? Even like us, just stop giving gift cards. Just give them the money. Mm -hmm. Just give them the money. Yeah. <sighs> Carol, in the middle of my email, said, I keep, didn't read it all, Carol, but she said, we need to make a game of Walmart, call it crazy Walmart bingo. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Okay, wait a minute. Carol, or this is from Carol. Watching the live stream this minute, laughing at Tara. I have Tara make a game of her Walmart trips, call it crazy Walmart bingo. She can draw a grid, put whatever noise her in each box. She gets a line of bingo. She gets a reward of her choosing. <laughs> I have done this very thing before for various things. Actually, that's, that's a great cute. idea. <laughs> That's a great idea. That's oh, cute. my goodness. Tales from the grocery store. Yes, that's mm. what we need to do. Did he put each item in its separate bag? <laughs> no, but almost. And I don't know what happened. After he already paid for something, another person came up bringing him something to exchange for another one. So who knows what else happened with his stuff. <laughs> But, I mean, it was mostly junk food that was on the thing there, I think. I think there was maybe some turkey lunch meat or something. But I was just like, dude, you don't need to be buying this stuff anyway. <laughs> Not that I have any room to talk. I totally get it. But, my goodness. <sighs> Allison said, I do a paid subscription to a shop with Tara. <laughs> Shop live uh, with Tara. <laughs> okay, so let's see. How do we do this? So we put a camera on the front of the basket and a camera on the GoPro as I'm walking through. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Could you guys see me on a Saturday or Sunday oh during my, the Christmas oh season? My oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. 
Thank you, Jackie, for just getting her volume. 40% <laughs> off right now so I can go buy my GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then we were looking at cars. Oh my word. So I was looking at a Highlander, a, a T Toyota Highlander. Okay. So I looked at one, 2016, $23,000 here in Sheridan. Same exact vehicle, five hours away, $17,000. Can you believe that? Well, yeah, because my dad used to drive from Colorado to Kansas and buy his cars in Kansas because he got them so much cheaper in Kansas. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I. that's... Because we're trying for... to decide what kind of car we want to get, so I thought, I'll just look up a Highlander and see what they are. My goodness. Okay. <sighs> Vicki, did you like your new kitchen this Thanksgiving meal? I don't know, since I didn't we cook didn't Thanksgiving cook in my <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> We went out to eat. So I did, actually, I did a Thanksgiving um, video. And actually, no, I didn't like it. How come? I actually liked the double ovens, but only for Thanksgiving. Yeah. So that's the only thing, though. I have not even thought twice about the double ovens in the almost year since it's been they tore out our original kitchen, except for Thanksgiving. That was the only time mm -hmm. I thought, oh, this would be nice to have a double oven. Yeah. But no, I actually um, didn't cook this year. <laughs> so um, we didn't have hardly, it was just us. We didn't have any out of town, you know, kids coming. That's the reason for the show. Oh, I did. Yeah, I liked it. I just missed the double oven. So uh, EP says five minutes away in another town, car insurance is $150 cheaper. That is ridiculous. Yeah. <sighs> My God. Goodness, that is that is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, Tiffany, home remedy for insects, mice, and snakes. Yes, just go buy um, go buy online the insecticide and spray it yourself. For my for mice, we use the little um, uh, electronic sonic electronic thing yeah, sonic things you plug snakes, into the wall. but just get a mouse trap with peanut butter but for snakes i can't believe the snakes aren't eating the mice yeah and if you have something like in a storage shed with no electricity uh dryer sheets work really good to keep uh mice and rats away my friend had a home that she had to leave empty for six months out of the year and she had rats terrible and she finally put the dryer sheets out. Oh, and, yeah. And, and peppermint. I've heard peppermint. One of our viewers had really bad mice. She said the peppermint helped. Yeah. So, the, you know, the dryer sheets. And so my dad also would take like the Model A's that he'd store out in the garage out far out by the field. Uh, he would put dryer sheets in the engine to keep mice from chewing on the, the wiring. Yeah. Actually, Wanda, weren't you the one that was having mice problems like a few months ago? What, what Did you ever get that? situated oh yeah mary jane she says she loves the way the cookbooks lay on the counter yes so we have a special binding that we pay extra for for you guys see how it's the front page and it lays down we did that special just so the book will lay flat on the countertop or in your cookbook thing if you don't have one with the some of them have so it holds the pages back and some don't so if you have one that does not hold the pages back it will stay open and pamela says she got the 20 she has the 20th of 20th anniversary edition one or two is a combination or both so the 20th anniversary edition is volume one and this is a totally separate new book totally new book 40 percent off right now guys in the description below um can you send me the next one's mike and that'll be the last one um <clears throat> tiffany is making our seasoning right now mm. thank you Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Rosalie. Caught us for the first time. Oh, EP, it's nice to have you. EP says essential oil, peppermint essential oil works good. Yes, it does. Plant peppermint around the base of your house, too. That would help. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, Wanda, most of the mice are gone, but there is still some pest control sealed up the spots and set glue traps. They are genius mice. They ignore the traps. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we use the peanut butter, because they, they can't just eat the cheese. Did you send me the next ones, Mike? Oh, okay. Um, because the cheese, um, they can take off of there without setting the trap mm -hmm. with peanut butter. They don't. And don't put a lot of peanut butter on there. Just put a little tiny bit 
so that they can't just, you know, let's say they have a, you know, a tongue this long. <laughs> <and try> to... <laughs> How many there. mice do you know that have a tongue that long? Oh my. As much experience as you've had with mice, you would think you know you, they didn't have a six foot tongue. <laughs> Maybe if they put the nuclear power plants here, we'll start having mice. Yeah, yeah, nuclear power plants might cause that. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh. Harry and I got a lot we got to talk about. <laughs> Uh, Alice says, you know you love someone when you let them rap while you sit your tea and you don't leave. Yes. <laughs> Just don't spit your tea out. Yeah, we've had a lot of people spit their tea out and watching us. So maybe you better wear a bib, you know, and have guard up or something. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Lindy loves Walmart bingo. <laughs> Kelly says, some of those cards take an hour or so to load. The store will tell you to leave and check in a few hours. Oh, seriously? Oh. Those little turds? Mm. That's, Those that little maybe turds. Were part of the problem. Well, make sure you have the receipt and make them tape it right there. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. I'm getting, oh, I'm getting fed up. And the lady at our Walmart, she is super, super nice. Yeah, we've got really It's nice. not her fault. Yeah, we've got but, super nice people. But there. she was standing right there watching the app where it showed the pants, showed me going through the whole re return process, and then you can't return these pants. I'm like, it's right here. She said, well, so I don't know. But, um, Dan says we're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right. Joanne, I love when you ladies go thrifty. Well, the thing is, we're not buying anything now because we've moved and we got everything we need. Mm -hmm. So everybody keeps saying that. But now I did buy some stuff yesterday when I went. What did I buy? Oh, four Christmas flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas minimalist. Christmas bulbs. Minimalist. Um, got Jack a pair of pants that didn't fit, but they were only a dollar, so that's okay. Um, what else? I got something else. I can't remember. Oh, a fall wreath. <laughs> minimalist. For a dollar. <laughs> um, all right. So I didn't buy that much. Tiffany loves her Highlander. Yay. Yeah. So I try. So we're trying to decide if we should get something bigger like a Highlander. Or something like a truck instead so i need to go test drive i was gonna go the reason why i was looking at that 2016 was i was gonna go test drive it because we don't have many that come in stock here they're they're just everybody drives toyotas here and so they don't ever come up very much so since there was that one actually in stock i was gonna go test drive it just to see if we even like the car because i don't even know if i like the car so Janaka says we bought a car at auction in Cheyenne. It was worth the drive from Colorado. Oh, yeah, it would be because mm -hmm. it's only like an hour and a half. So that's mm -hmm. definitely worth it. Oh, everybody loves their Highlander. Okay, well, I'm going to go. If they still have it tomorrow, I might go test drive it to see. Vicki, does it matter which dryer sheets? No. Nope. Tara, get an electric roaster for the few times you need a double oven. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then I could just put it downstairs and roast it downstairs. EP, I have ebooks, but really think I'm getting a hardcover. Do you plans for a spiral brown? We are not, we cannot physically print a spiral brown. So the reason why they're hardcover with the special lay flat binding is because they're too big for a spiral now. We used to do spirals so, because that was so that was a big deal to us to have a spiral. And we did them for years, but now it's too big yeah. they can't even do print well, them like that so we had complaints because people liked the full did wanted full color pic pictures so we went in and did the full color pictures so when we went in and did the full color pictures what happened was then it was too thick to um be a spiral binding right here there you go so no unfortunately we can't do a spiral binding so, but it does lay flat. I'm, I'm really fussy about the cookbooks flipping open. I hate that. Yep. And so we, Tara and I both, we spent what a week or more testing this silly yeah. thing, practicing with it to make sure it would lay nice for you guys. So, yeah. Well, you can tell them if you want, go ahead. There you go. Tell oh, them what happened the, the last, last time. time we did spiral binding. The the company actually downgraded their spirals anyway. Are you on? Are you on the? Can you guys hear Mike? 
I have my mic on, so. Oh, you do? Okay, go ahead, sorry. You're echoing if you're talking too. Okay. Um, the last time we had a spiral binding, we they downgraded the spiral and we had more pages in the book. And so they did a really horrible job and we had like $30,000 worth of books and we couldn't sell any of them. And we were having this argument with the printer for like three or four months. And so it was a big disaster. And since then, we've kind of gone with that, yeah, Spiral just isn't a thing for us anymore. I mean, we appreciate that people liked it, but wow, that was really frustrating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pamela says, we deserve those buttons tonight. Do you mean the thumbs up? If you like <laughs> the thumbs up, guys, please give us a thumbs up. Um, Brittany, thank you, Tara and Jill. You guys always cheer me up. Yay! Aww. She doesn't have much family, especially when I'm in her life. You guys help me feel less alone. Oh, that's Aww. great. Um, <clears throat> we're here for you. I was going to say, you know, we, we get to know you guys so well, so many of you. It's almost like a family, really. Um, let's see. I'm just checking to see. Mike, you look like alfalfa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Olympia says that tree makes your hair look like alfalfa. Oh, yeah. Everybody's saying alfalfa. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So 40% off right now, guys. Our Black Friday sale, our undated planners. We normally don't put them on sale. 20% off right now. Get your year started. You can see the insides of all of our books on our sales page at livingandadying.com. Please go watch this video next and we will see you guys next time.